It's January the 1st, 2015. I'm Dina Dernford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. And you can find my videos in Fukushima presentations live at livestream.com. Starting now again, we'll be back to the regular schedule of 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time. We're into the new year. The old year went out with a bang. And we covered 260 days of expeditions on Fukushima expeditions on the coastline of British Columbia. And we'll talk about that later, but we're going to talk about a whole lot of stuff today. Happy New Year to everybody. That's right, Jan Brooks is over there. Miss Milky the Clown won and Miss Milky the Clown original. And I got such a great stream for everybody tonight. I can't wait to get started. And it always takes a couple of minutes to warm up these streams. And we have done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these streams. We've covered uh, over 10,000 headlines. And tonight we're going to cover uh, several hundred, I'm sure, we'll get through. Uh, and this is an extended show tonight on January 1st of Tritium. And so Tritium is being released in mass quantities. And it's also... Uh, recognized now as a new drinking water standard for Canada. Well, at least it was. And that's the bombshell we got for us tonight. And we'll start off with the bombshell because I'm sure a lot of people wanted, came here to find out what that bombshell was. And Dana stopped diddling around there and get on with it. Okay. Well, normally this is what I show you, and then let's bring Dana back into the picture. Anytime you're ready, Dana, get in the picture, Dana. And so I always got a tendency to talk third person about myself. And I, I'll do these voices sometimes. They're meant as connotations of the trolls, the, the pro-nuclear PR firms themselves. When I start making fun of myself, that's usually who I'm referring to as making fun of me. I'm just mimicking them. And so it's a way of having a bit of fun. You might see me smoking. I smoke CNTs. They got no, they don't have 7,000 chemicals. 7,000 that we know about in tobacco. Is that why your loved ones could never quit? Is that why you, you turned on your friends because they wouldn't give it up because there were 7,000 chemicals and you didn't know any better? It very well could be. But I don't have that. But I do like to smoke sometimes. And we got so much to get through. Let's come over and say, and I always like to come over and start off the show by saying hi to everybody in the chat room. And tonight is no different. And so we got Chuck and Frank and Shani again. Hi, Elaine and Jim. RWP and Fukushima or Fans Filtration. Hi, Ken. And Snow, Happy New Year. And Ran, Shark. Alex, thank you for the music, Alex, by the way. Again. I meant to, I just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, folks. And, but I'm getting back on track. Hi, Jan. And Nep Killer. Aquarius Charms. Hyperboreal. Boreal. And, of course, we got, uh, anybody else that showed up? And we'll get back and we'll start. Hi, I try to pronounce your name. Chart. Chant. Chant. Chart. I haven't got my glasses on. Send your hate mail at Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. <laughs> not you, Cham. I'm not talking to you. I'm just on people that says, Dude, I can't even pronounce a name. Well, it's the internet. There's a lot of stuff on the internet that people just make up and you can't pronounce their names. And so don't expect this to be any different. But we do got 300 peer review studies. Well, we probably got 400. We got over 1,000. Dear, we're not going to cover that. I cherry picked 300. And the idea of the 300, the idea of the 300, let's keep going. And the idea of the three, I got to turn off the Adobe. That's what we got to do also. Otherwise, we got two streams running and people are like, Dana, you're all broken up. I don't understand what you're doing. And I'm like, it's okay, man. See that stream? That time on that computer was using 454 megabytes for the Adobe Flash. 454. She's big, powerful. What a four barrel in the uh, Dobie. Hi, Thomas Ackerman, CJ, Candace, anybody I missed? 
Now we got such a great show, Dana. Get on with the show, for goodness sakes. You got everybody all wiggly, wiggly, trying to work out what the frig you're up to this time. Nobody knows. Dana's not saying until he says. Okay. So, exhibit one. <laughs> now remember, my cigarettes don't got 7,000 chemicals. If you don't want to watch the video because Dana was smoking a cigarette, nobody can help you. <sighs> well, I don't got 7,000 chemicals, but it's okay. I get where you're coming from. You've been indoctrinated all your life. Dana, you're not making any sense. Well, here we go. There we go. There we are. There we be. There we go. Ho, ho. Okay. So Canada is drinking water standards. Now, normally, I would come over to my bookmarks. I would scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll to the very bottom of my bookmarks. And there's Canada's health drinking water standards. I got stashed down there somewhere. Okay, I gotta make a lawyer out of me today. Guidelines for Canada's drinking water standard. Now if I click on that, it'll pop up. Come on, anytime you're ready. I'll leave a cursor there. Everybody's like, get a change cursor. Anytime you're ready, pewter. So normally I would go over to this link. Oh, that's right too. That link is dead. Canada's Drinking Water Standard sends us to this page, right? Now, before, it would send us over to this page, Canada Drinking Water Standard. And as you scroll down it, just give me a second, though. When you scroll down it, you would see that. So that was natural radionuclides and acid and artificial and acid, yeah? And so if you look at the natural, you got total uranium is not even in Beckwell, it's in milligrams. It goes in Beckwell's after it goes through a chain reaction. But lead was in Beckwell's 0.2 milligrams, or 0.2 Beckwell's a liter. Oh, that's a square uh, cubic liter? Can't even remember. Radium-226, these are natural stuff. And this is 0.5 Beckwell's a liter. But by the time you got it to your lip, it was long gone. It, it can't harm you, it can't mutate, it can't uh, metastasize the cancer, or manifest autoimmune deficiencies from those kinds of doses. But that's natural. It's always been like that. We were acclimated to that through genetic superior selection. Okay. On the other side is tritium. Tritium. That's why we got 300 peer review studies tonight. And that's why they pulled it off their front page. Okay. Let's come back over. Now, when we scroll down the page, normally I would take that screen capture you were just looking at. And it'd be around right there. But now it's gone. Now it's not there. <laughs> <clears throat> now, we made a big fuss about that because 7,000 Beckwells in a liter is around 4 million, 3.5 million in your bathtub where your child is sitting. This is man-made. This is unprecedented compared to natural. Look at natural. Then look at what they got there for man-made. Think of it that it was always in a cubic meter, so 7 million Beckwells in a cubic meter. But you wouldn't know that if you went over to... Um, to their web page and scroll down now would you because they removed it and that the old link now doesn't take you to that page you can't get it but you can find the information there CCM, iodine, strontium, tritium, total uranium and so I'm sure they got it there somewhere in that format that we're used to we've been talking about over and over and over for a long time now where we've had a couple of videos went viral about it Unfortunately, the government made me take them down when they arrested me six or seven weeks ago. <laughs> Little badge of honor. We're going to give them a serious thrashing for that one. We already have, but why, why, why give it up? We know we're going to win it. They just got to play the game out. They're just all the posturing. This was about demonizing me. This, and this is not about me tonight, though, but let's keep going. Well, I guess it is. I'm the one that got to take all the knocks. <laughs> I'm the one that got, who got smeared across Canada in the mainstream media. I'm the one that family called up and said, is it true, Dana? Did you, did you say that? And I said, no, they took an eight-second soundbite from a one-hour video presentation without the documentation that I supplies, typed it out, never even played it, and then used that to destroy me. And then the media came out and accused me of death threats. I'm charged with criminal harassment. 
a big whoop, right? Criminal harassment and nuclear pukes. Big friggin' whoop. Well, originally, you know, it was, we didn't know what was going on until we got the disclosure. So it was a big whoop. And they arrested me and put me in jail for 12 hours. But the local police department, who know me, said, we're not picking him up on Sunday. The judge won't be here till Wednesday. We'll pick him up Tuesday night. He'll be out Wednesday morning. And that's what happened. Because they knew it was all just a, it was just a charade. It was just, it was just a game to take me down. So let's get on and talk about this. So they took the tritium, right? But boom, that is now gone from the front page. That beautiful, perfect diagram that you can just show to somebody, say on the left side, natural radionuclides, on the right side, artificial, right? And you can beat the shit out of anybody with that one graft. Why would they have natural, right? Don't want no more natural than that, but it's okay to have all the man-made. Well, I got through over 300 peer review academic studies we're going to start cruising through. It's an extended show. There's a lot going on here tonight. There's a lot to talk about. It's a long show, and I know a lot of people wasn't expecting a long show, and so they won't be able to stay around, and that's understandable. Don't worry about it. It'll be posted in high quality at my site, so it's going to be a stupid big file. It's probably going to take me 10 hours to upload it. And that's, the, that's okay, too. That's okay, too. So when you come to... Let's finish up on that. When you come to the drinking water standards, Canadian drinking water guidelines, right? When you, when you type in uh, guidelines for Canadian drinking water standards, or drinking water standards, you get a page normally look like that. And it would have the graft. Now the graft is gone. So they're hiding it up. They're covering it up. And that's the, the tritium. Look at the tritium on your left, right side in the top corner. Tritium 3H. That's what we're going to talk about with all these peer review studies. Tonight. Here we go. Now, at the same time, you got to put some things into context. Uh, worst type of reactor accident is nuclear fuel melting and burning through the vessel and reactor basement into the earth. Now, Three Mile Island lasted five days. Chernobyl lasted 10 days, and that's why they were able to put a sarcophagus over Chernobyl. Chernobyl was one-third the size of any of the reactors in Fukushima, and Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. But Chernobyl stopped after 10 days, but Chernobyl was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. If it had lasted 20 days, it would have been 800 Hiroshima bombs. If it lasted for a month, it would have been 600 or 1,200 Hiroshima bombs worth of radiation released into the environment. Okay, now my smokes don't got 7,000 chemicals. Don't have a seizure. Don't crawl in the corner and defecate on yourself because Dana had a cigarette. So Three Mile Island, how the U.S. got rid of 2 million gallons of radioactive water after Three Mile Island. Now, what they say about that was it was contaminated with tritium. <laughs> Man, these are, these are just incredible lawyers. They just come out and say it. But because they didn't think that someone like me was going to show up with 300 peer review studies showing you <laughs> how bad tritium actually is. <clears throat> but it's the new year and we got to come out and beat them up because you can't take down the radiation charts off the main page and not expect some blowback, Okay. Yeah, that's the way it works in my world anyway. So the cleanup at Three Mile Island, nuclear plant, had ended after 14 years. It took 14 years with a final puff of radioactive steam from the evaporators used to get rid of contaminated water from the 1979 accident. Not store it to get rid of it. Why not just dump it in the soil? Why not put it in kids' swimming pools? Because they know it's deadly. And they don't want that conscience. But to release it into the environment, then they don't then they don't have any kind of attachment to where it ended up to, right? Ah, we'll just release it into the environment like a dirty bomb. Because that's what it is. It's a dirty bomb. You got three hundred studies coming up. And for two years, the electric evaporator had been getting rid of two point two three million gallons of water at three mile island number two reactor, which was destroyed. No, it wasn't. It was well, it was a fifty percent meltdown. There was over 100,000 deaths in the valleys surrounding that place that was later published in studies. No, Dana, nobody died there. That's mimicking the pro-nuclear. 
The steam released at various times by an electric evaporator carried tritium, a radioactive form of hydrogen. A radioact well, it's called atomic tritium. And the natural tritium from solar radiation combining with hydrogen uh, is, is molecular uh, tritium. So one's atomic, one's a molecule. Right? The molecule is harmless, it's insignificant. It's something that we're acclimated through genetic superior selection, like all the other natural emitters on the planet are already. And the atomic one is the one that you have to evaporate. That's the one they, they don't know. They, now, because nu most nuclear power plants are corporate personhood through an illegal amendment to the Constitution and that manifested in the Bill of Rights in Canada and the Magna Carta in Britain and many other democratic countries that have been hoodwinked into going along with that ruse. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. No rush to clean it all up. Cleanup removal took 14 years to clean up three mile on. Oh, it was okay, Dana. No one got hurt. But uh, here, that's what happened at Fukushima was the worst type of reactor incident. It was nuclear fuel melting, burning through the vessel and the reactor basement and then into the earth. But it wasn't only the fuel, which is reactor cores were on the roof of the reactors. It was the reactors themselves also melted through. And then the, the reactor cores every 18 months were taken up and put on the roof and they disappeared. Um... Uh, Okay, we're almost ready. Now, what I'm going to do now, who knows how that's going to work out. What I'm going to do now is play a video. I'm going to play a video, and we'll jump into that. I'm going to play a video that shows you the page when I took that screen capture you're looking at right now. And it's got audio, and it's going to tell the basic story. And these are videos I published earlier this year. I talk about the date and blah, blah, blah. And anybody that knows me is familiar with this stuff. And so we're going to play this video. It's about two minutes long. It's really important. I'll start playing it, and then I'll grab my headphones to pay attention. Uh -huh. And then we're going to jump over to uh, hundreds of peer review studies, handpicked, of course. Because I got a few thousand of them, but that was what I grabbed over the last couple of days. For Canada. Here we go. This is Canada, Health Canada. And you'll find links below the video. And this is very unsettling. The guidelines for Canadian drinking water quality. By the way, the date is the 12th of April 2015, just in case people are thinking this is an old video. And so I'm on the site, the links are below it, natural and artificial radionuclides. So natural, you can see 0.2 of a becquerel a liter, 0.5, half a becquerel per liter. Tritium, which is man-made, strontium-90 is man-made, iodine-131 is man-made, cesium-137 is man-made, they're under artificial, they call them artificial, not man-made, but they're man-made in a chain reaction. 7,000 becquerels a liter, a liter. And so that's 7 million becquels, a man-made tritium, now per cubic meter in our drinking water is an acceptable standard according to, that, according to Health Canada and the guidelines for Health Canada. Now that's Health Canada's website today, the 12th of April, 2015. And they're saying tritium now is an acceptable standard up to 7,000 becquels a liter. Uh, strontium is 5. So that, when I convert that over to cubic meters, which is the size of your bathtub you put your children in, it's 5,000 becquels of strontium. 5,000 becquels being soaked into your skin. 6,000 becquels of iodine is acceptable. That's an ongoing constant chain reaction, but there's 10 times more iodine-131, 10 times more iodine-132, 30 times more iodine-133. 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life they didn't put it in there for you cesium 137 there's 90 times more strontium not not half as as much cesium strontium is is 100 times more in that chain reaction is produced in a ratio of 100 to 1 cesiums 137 so what we're looking at and i'm just rushing this up because this truly is an emergency and this is not acceptable. And so it's, it, now we have to move on this. Now we need all of our institutions to treat this because we have an emission from our... Right, we have an emission. And now 
now we don't have an emission line now now uh, we don't get that page anymore now we get this page and now we don't see I'm sorry hang on yeah get your activator that's right so now we see when we go to that page we don't see the graft why did they take the graft down I don't know those answers outside of the 300 studies I'm going to show here tonight might kind of help you understand it though okay and so what the studies coming up uh, studies coming up ba -boom, ba -boom. studies coming up <coughs> um, ba -ba. who knows uh, so, okay there we go so studies in the Irish sea coast of Wales and let me keep an eye on Fukushima and studies in the Fukushima uh, I'm sorry uh, nucleoids from the local uh, cell fuel power plant now there's four million liters a day going into that ocean down there and so the activities of cesium 238 239 240 plutonium uh, and 241 americium were measured and shown to um, show up everywhere in the root mat of the tidal zone tidal flats and they got you know many many studies showing you about that and so why would they do that uh, dose assessments what, 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 what do you mean dose assessments why say dose assessments because what they're talking about it was a contaminant see it's because it's considered a, tam a contaminant that's why Three Mile Island spent two years boiling it all off into your communities. Dirty bomb after dirty bomb, 24 hours a day with these uh, evaporators. Wow, they're using evaporators. <laughs> yeah, in Japan they're using uh, incinerators. <laughs> and neither one of them are legal, trust me. Neither, they're meant to, because the corporation would have to store it, and then the shareholders would lose money forever. And so what they done was, they gave a politician a phone call and said, hey, change the law. Yeah, we don't care about people. We don't want to pour it in there because then we got to think about it. But we release it into the environment to get sick. Well, pff, who's to point fingers at us when people don't even understand it? So that's why we're here today. Effects of emaciation. An obesity on small animal internal radiation dosage for positrons, blah, 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 blah. Rats are widely used. And so what they done was they produced the rats that were emaciated and that the effects of the BC on the internal radiation dose is insignificant in most conditions for common compared, you know, it, we got the same kind of reaction, see? The same kind of, of, um, of autoimmune uh, responses in the body, the same kind of uh, chemical reaction to the invading of the tritium into the rat's body. But the emaciation increases the cross-absorbed dose to organs from surrounding tissues. Really? And so what we're going to do here tonight is show you uh, these venues and these different studies and you can collectively understand how this can work its way into every facet of everything on the planet. And Okay, we've just done that. we just done that, Dana. Get with the program. Uh, okay, transfer radionuclides across the skin barrier animals, skin models, and then for the little babies too. Using animal skin models of five-day-old, nine-day-old rats, either intact or stripped, it was found uh, the principal pre-mediation mediation barrier in all cases, the study of penetration, cesium and cobalt-60, and I'm not sure what the other one is, And I kind of jumped on that one, did I? Okay. So anyway, they showed even on little baby rats how this can... So when your child is being born, or your niece, or your nephew, or your aunt or uncle, or friend's child are being born, and then you're you're being susceptible just... And we're not talking about tritium. We're not talking about... And tritium is considered by these people to be harmless, to be just totally innocuous. 
to be totally at one with it. But but it's not. See, this is man made. This is H three. This has accepted a neutron from the chain reaction. So it's a, it's a dirty bomb. Everything that, that accepts a neutron from a chain reaction or went through a chain reaction is a dirty bomb. And so the effects of radionuclides on animals' behaviors. Behavior refers to the observable and measurable actions of reactions of organisms, movements, psychological alterations, verbal expressions, and response to stimulus originating from its environment. Animals express several types of behavior, including sexual, reproductive, social activities, and uh, locomotion, feeding, defense, avoidant responses, cognitive behaviors, attention, learning, memories, etc., etc., right? And so, you don't get... Now, these studies I'm going to talk about tonight are, are just a synopsis. And... The reason they're just a synopsis is because have a look at that buy a chapter buy the ebook 139 and so each one of these studies if I was to buy them all would cost me millions of what I'm going to show you tonight maybe not millions but close to it just to read them just to peruse them I don't own them I can't keep a copy of them I can read them online I can't make a copy for myself though for those prices but we paid for that okay now as we go through this, um, let me touch up on something else that's really important that actually started all of this off quite a while back. Uh, let me see. Where did that go is the next big question. Hang on. So what that's coming up, that should have been loaded up. I swear I load that up. Hang on, I take me a second. We'll get rid of that and so you can see what I'm doing when I find it. Uh, yeah, this uh, headline coming up here, we'll just let it load up. Not just academics fed up with Elsevier, but entire editorial staff resigns in mass to start open access journal. And that was Janet and Fred Saxon Peck sent me that just after I got home from the last expedition and I went into a bookmark and it was a few days later and I started going down the path that I'm on tonight. So this whole video tonight is based up on that one headline uh, that Janet sent to me in an email and that has took a long time to get here because I got arrested and traumatized and worn out. I haven't even stopped since, <laughs> since we went on the ocean. We, we covered 9,000 headlines before I went on the ocean. but So anyway, what this study talks about, it's really somewhat astounding just how absolutely hated journalist publisher joint Elsevier has become in certain academic circles. So Elsevier, Springer, and Wiley, they got uh, 20,000 academic uh, publishing houses between the three of them. And they get the copyrights from all our institutions and universities of our studies for free and locks it behind the paywalls. And so what happened was that elsewhere, the whole staff quit and started up an open access journal. Whether we can trust them or not is another story. But what it does, it does highlight and highlight, highlight whatever that word was before, but it highlights the fact that there is a revolution going on there in the academic community and people are sick of this. They're sick of these three academic so-called journalists with 20,000 publishing houses getting 4,350 peer review studies for free every day and then publishing it and charging prohibitively exorbitant amounts um, in order to look at the studies that I'm showing you tonight. So you see that there? That's why I can't tell you too much about that. So I can, I can tell you the abstract, the synopsis. But as we go through it, what we're trying to do is we're laying the foundation right now. For the, and It takes a long time to do something like I'm doing here just to get to this point. But I'm not going to just run through this for because people don't have the time to sit here and listen to it. You know, there's nothing I can do to help you. What the idea is to put the data out there so that it's, it's in a format where if someone takes a few hours and gets through it, they get a 
total comprehensive understanding. And it's not easy to, to articulate anything that I'm trying to do. Radionuclides in the study of marine processes so that people can repeat it or be able to utilize it some way or another. Particularly because, like we just talked about, how Elsevier staff walked out because Elsevier hides everything away. And so what I can do is show you all the studies you know, that are there are available to say, hey, look, we, they've done a study on this, and a lot of it shows you the synopsis. And so they, radio sees some plutonium in the Atlantic surface waters. Um, and then a lot of the times you got to look at this one here, there's no year on it. And you can see downloads, there was 2,000 downloads of that one. And here was the radioactive cesium, other studies, radioactive tracer in the Greenland seas. And they were studying that because of the fallout, is all I'm trying to show you right now. And as we start moving through the studies here, you'll understand where, why I'm doing it this way. But radionuclides and water suspended particulate matter from the North Sea, studies on the plutonium and americium western iron seas, and anthropogenic, which is man-made. As a tracer in western UK coastal waters, you use man-made tracers of, uh, U of UK western waters. And um, radio system in local and regional coastal waters modeling exercises. And so I can't, I can't get access to those, but they're dear. And so they've done this, they spent a stupid amount of money doing all these studies because that stuff, they, wanted, they needed to know themselves for themselves. They needed to be able to cover it up. They needed to be able to anticipate where the problems were going to show up and then have that local media give them money and advertisements and then in update the politicians uh, with requests to, to get out there and disperse any kind of uh, blowback. So mathematical transports, the dispersions of cesium from Sellafield and Chernobyl in Northwest Europe uh, sea shelves. But you won't find these studies, like I'm showing you, on Fukushima for some reason. You won't find any of this from Fukushima. Just Woods Hole and the University of Victoria talking about Fukushima, and they have me arrested. I can't talk about those people. Right? That's, that's 12 restrictions I got against me because they don't want me doing what I'm doing here. Right? They destroyed my equipment a week before I got arrested. They took down my account the day I got out of jail, and that's why we're live streaming at livestream.com because the data has to come out, right? They can't keep hiding it away from everybody. And that I'm not going to be put off and put down just because they want to hide it, just because they got something to hide. Dispersions 137 from Sellafield and Chernobyl. In the earlier modeling study, the dispersal of the Northwest European shelf seas of the Thursday 137. Now there was 100 times more strontium-90. The reactors are running on uranium and plutonium, not on cesium. But anyway, so if they, did, if they were following that, then by proxy, the other stuff is there. See, that's the stuff they don't tell you. Discharge from Sellafield was simulated from 64 to 1980. From 64 to 1980. And there's so much you can learn tonight. It's just, I think this is one of the few videos where you can learn it all. You can apply this to just every radio nucleoid out there tonight's show. But once again, you got to realize um, that is missing now, right? They took that down from Health Canada's website because Dana and the Hounds of Fukushima have made a difference. We have made an impact. We have put the fear into them, and they need to feel that fear. We don't have nothing to fear. We didn't do nothing wrong. Atmospheric, look at the bottom paragraph, models have estimated disposition to North Seas, blah, 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 blah. These are just estimates. They're not telling you the truth. They're just talking about CC. What about the 2,000 other ones we know about? What about the 10,000 ones that are classified? Because we take nature and we add atoms to it, right? We add protons, electrons to a neutron bombardment, and you can accept many of these and become many different types of daughters. And then there's many types of decays associated because of changing the very property, the very element of the... We're talking about an atomic level. Very, very interesting. So atmospheric models have estimated the disposition, but I mean, it's many times that because that's only cesium. But you got to multiply that by 100 to get the strontium. You got to multiply that by thousands just to get the uranium. You got to multiply that by many, 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 many magnitudes 
to get the iodine 129. There's some iodine 129 coming up. Maybe if we ever get to it. But I mean, that's the point of it. It's such complicated. There's so much going on. There's so many nuances and so many minutiae of these details. I can't do well on them because we got so much to get through. But the idea was to give you oodles of studies. We'll start shooting through this stuff. We're just building up some speed. Yeah, we're just trying to make sure all the grease is working. Everything is getting ready to cruise. Robot, robust estimation of lung retention in animals exposed to alpha emitting radionucleoids. And uh, assessing human health risks using data from inhalation studies in laboratory animals exposed to alpha emitting radionucleoids requires estimating the temporal patterns accumulations of the lung dose in individual atoms. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> I'm just going to take over Dr. Raymond Gilmetti on his studies. So Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. He has 94 peer review studies on beagle dogs. And his studies on curium, that's what this one right here, curium isotopes are a major byproduct of irradiated nuclear fuel rods, not cesium, not iodine, not the americium. The biggest one is after the rods go through a chain reaction is curium. And that's a fissionable product. And this is deadly. This is the biggest comprisor. Although little use currently being made of purified curium sources, sources such uses as possible if reprocessing, which is MOX fuel, which is what they were doing at Fukushima, of spent fuel becomes feasible. So that was a 1989 study. But let's jump ahead to studies he done on beagle dogs in uranium, inhaling plutonium dioxide from a chain reaction. So 144 dogs. It's pretty sobering. Look at the third sentences, or even the second one. Debt showed up 1.5 to 5.4 years. And tumors of the lung, skeleton, and liver occurred beginning about three years after exposure. And this is because um, of the electrons accepted. Uh, from the chain reaction. So anything that accepts electrons, even a cigarette, drop a cigarette in there and it gets irradiated and comes out, that will, each one of these atoms can give you cancer. But cancer takes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years to show up, to manifest, to get diagnosed, to start being a problem for you. But inside your body is always attacking it from the time you got the atom in your body. It takes a single atom to create a tumor. And so 7,000 atoms, atomic decays, in a liter of water, of your drinking water, of tritium, is is in the same category. We're talking not a single atom, but we're talking about 7,000. Now, they're not as strong as the plutonium atom. You know, one, one millionth of a gram of plutonium will kill you, but it takes 20 or 30 years to finally get you. It might get you with leukemia, but while you're waiting for the cancer to show up, there's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies. But look at your last sentence. The finding in the dog suggests similar related biological effects could be expected in humans. Exposed to the 238, but that actually applies like so his studies apply to everything. I'm talking about today uh, Human health risk using data from inhalation toxicity Toxicology studies in laboratory animals exposed to alpha emitting radionuclides require estimating temporal patterns now We've done that extensively to determine the accurate Accurately the lung retention function of an individual animal individual animal you only need one atom but what they were trying to understand was how much gets retained in the lung, how much sequesters in the organ, in the muscles, in the bones. And tritium likes the bones. Tritium loves your bones. Uh, let's keep going because otherwise, it's, I'm not going to rush, but radionuclides in the bones of oil, I'm, I'm not going to read everything that I got to her either. But there are certain parts of it I want to talk about. But there's, you know, I got it all in there. Anyways, I'm not hiding nothing from you, in other words. Uh, there was 96 downloads of radionuclides in the bones of wild animals from northeast Poland. So that was in 19... Um, no date on that one. It was downloaded 60 times. Results obtained with the projects on the presence of isotopes from Chernobyl fallout of fuel-like hot particles in wild animals. Northeastern Poland. Wait a second, that happened in Chernobyl. Why is it going all the way to Poland? Well, the UK, they still can't sell uh, land there in certain parts of Ireland, Scotland, on top of that. 
and you can't drink the milk or sell the meat in certain parts of Ireland, Scotland, UK. 28 years after Chernobyl, still contaminated. And that Switzerland just started its fishing industry two years ago, fresh water, after 26 year moratorium on fishing there because of Chernobyl. So this stuff is very dangerous for very long and very tiny quantities. Um, so the matrix uh, composition of samples were determined mainly by means of, of a certain method they use. Statistical parameters of the obtained results of the activities of radionuclides and some stable elements contents are present. Activity of 90 strontium, uh, strontium 90, there are many daughters of strontium 90 by the way, if you got one you got them all there, dominates all the other activities. Only four samples of plates suggested for traces of 239, 240 plutonium, but uh, there's many daughters of plutonium, right? But nevertheless, it did show that after Chernobyl, that the animals were uptaken and that this stuff become part of the, and we got a lot of studies that will cover that more better coming up, so we'll keep moving. And so when I do that, it's because I know I got all these other studies coming up that will break down the minutiae of that one for everybody a lot better. But once you say you got to watch these whole videos in order right to the end to kind of comprehend the, the enormity of what I'm talking about, to even begin to barely comprehend it. I have a several thousand studies like this, but I cherry picked these out of it. Actually, I got more than that. But anyway, I cherry picked these out of it to come out and tell a story. So this is about uh, trying to get the radionuclides uh, out of the body, if I remember correctly. Tritium, strontium, and iodine isotopes, and plutonium, americium, thorium, uranium, which continue to be a matter of concern. Important cases. Um, what year was that one? So a lot of times I don't get the date on these things, but a lot of this got dates. I, I, I'm always looking. That's a habit I got. Don't worry about it. Because I was going through it. I was trying to... I was going to organize it by dates, but that fell apart on me. Uh, your Amer uh, americium, uranium, thorium, uh, radiostrontium, radiocesium, tritium, chelating agents. So this is about trying to get it out of your body. So there's a lot of studies out there on that. It, and you do have some success with it, but it's a very complicated and uh, you still get lesions to your organs, permanent lesions. Factors influence the transfer of radionuclides in agricultural food chains. And this is about tritium. The majority, 90% of this is going to be about tritium. Uh, the applications of nuclear energy have led and will continue to lead routine or accidental discharges of radioactive elements into the atmosphere. So this is a blanket statement of aquatic environments resulting in exposure of populations to ionizing radiations. Ionizing radiations. The application of nuclear energy have led and will continue to lead to routine. Ah, just dump it in the ocean. Let's, let's evaporate it into the environment. No one's paying attention. There's no checks and balances. There's no watchdogs out there that they haven't paid for. Except for... I'm one of them is all I'm saying. There's many out there but I'm one that managed to get a bit of attraction, and so that uh, the onus is on me to try to uh, utilize that to the best of my insignificant ability, I guess is a better way of putting it. I'm censured on the internet. We know the RCMP. No, let me withdraw that. That Victoria Police Department, not RCMP in Canada, but the Victoria Police Department. My apologies to the RCMP for smearing them with the likes of Victoria Police Department. I'm sure there's a lot of good people there too, mind you. I, I have my doubts though after meeting one of them. There's only about 150 of them there, Sergeant Steve Crooks. And then he worked in tandem with the University of Victoria, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and the FBI to censor me on the internet. And so they censor my account, they censor my comments, they censor my ratings, they censor my views, they censor the people that are able to find me. They censor, censor the way I'm indexed on the internet, they censor my URL. And so I'm totally censored on the internet. And so it's up to everybody to push me out there and make people be able to find me, make me available. And I don't have to ask for that to be accomplished because that is natural for people. That is done. And I'm extraordinarily grateful to everybody that do participate and do contribute. And don't think for a second I ain't grateful for what everybody has done to get us to this point. Because I couldn't exist without everybody helping me, without everybody 
participating, with everybody sharing, with everybody getting into the debate itself, with everybody trying, I wouldn't exist. I only exist, I'm only a manifestation of people out there because people call for someone like me to exist. And so, poof, I showed up. And we've done 260 days on the ocean. Let's run over to that for one second. We've done 260 days on the ocean. And I'll just give you a quick rundown of what that meant. And if I ever can get to it, at some point I'll get to it. At some point I'll find what I'm looking for. Problem is I got too much on my computer, right? So a long story short was some urchins waste away, others come out of hiding as the folly from sea star disease ripples along the California coastline. And so this was April 2000. It was the same time I made the Fukushima, or the 9, 7 million Becquerel Trillium uh, videos for Canada. But so far, urchin die has been absorbed, observed, observed and documented at four sites along 200 miles and at the fifth site. And so what they've done was declare a mass mortality event. Now, what we done was we went out and we covered all these dots, all these arrows is where we went and we spent uh, extended period of time in this operation here. This is all crowdfunded. And we went throughout the whole coastline of British Columbia for 260 days. And now I'm an ex-commercial diver. 14,000 hours in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, extensive diving on both coasts of Canada. Over a dozen commercial dive vessels. And so I know the coastline extraordinarily well. So I've done 260 days in that boat on the coastline, and I went looking for that. I went looking for that, and what I found in the same spot was that. And up close, it looked like that. It no longer looked like that anywhere on the coast. It was all gone, and that the whole coast is irradiated. And the reason it's radiated, of course, is because the jet streams and the ocean currents are real, right? Right, the ocean currents are real, and that the jet streams are real, and that the meltdowns are real, and that they couldn't get power into the nuclear power plants. And so they all melted down, right? That's unit one. We'll jump back over to the studies in a second. That's unit two, 100% meltdowns. That's unit three, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out, all gone. That's unit four. And then he come out and he showed you that picture. These are the official pictures. And he said inside of that, it looked like that. And it looked like that, so shut up. When in reality, it looked like that. And we know all the fuel pools are gone because they tore it all off the roof, right? And so let's keep going on the studies because the lion sacks of shit are out there in second gear and they're wrecking, they're, they're out to destroy everybody. So the media is going to paint you a picture of flowers and birds and in reality it's mayhem and carnage, right? And they're doing that because of they want to wreck you and destroy you and everything about you. They disrespect you and your loved ones and your friends and your families and they will till the end of time. These are gangsters. We are up against real gangsters. I kid you not. Real gangsters. But you're here tonight because for only a dollar you can find out if you're gullible when you go to their sites. When you come here, it's free. You find out there's meltdowns. You find out the melt throws. You find out real data, real information, real pictures. Real weird sometimes. Real shocking. But the gangsters are out. And they're here to freak you over. And I am here to try to lead you on the straight and narrow. And we are in trouble. So we have to have a debate about this. Assessments of S values and stylized and vorel based rat models. Blah, 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 blah. Positron emission tomography is a powerful tool in small animal research enabling non-invasive quantitative imaging of biochemical processes in living subjects. However, the dosimetric characteristics of small animals' pet imaging are usually overlooked. I'm not here. I'm looking. Methods. Let's get down to the results. So what it was, they were showing how tritium... I'll never find it. But anyway, they were showing how they can study it through this uh, had, what I'm trying to do is show you the studies done sometimes to coexist with the other studies I'm about to show you so they know that it goes into the animal then they know the dispersals from CCM from Cellophil and Chernobyl 
And so that one was in, uh, who knows what year that one was. And so it includes the atmospheric disposition following the Chernobyl accident in 86. And so Chernobyl was only lasted 10 days. And that was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400 Hiroshima bombs. And let's just talk about that for one second. So Hell on Earth, 19, uh, 2006. Uh, look at your third sentence. And for the next 10 days, period equivalent of 400 Hiroshima bombs worth of radioactivity across 150,000 square miles beyond. That's the studies you're looking at there. Okay. All right. And so these, they, now Harvard and Yale and Stanford, MIT and Oxford have never went to Fukushima, but they all went to Chernobyl. They all went to Three Mile Island, but none of them went to Fukushima. How come we don't, you know, how come we don't see them there? Because they only the homeless and the people that don't speak the native language that are immigrants from impoverished are allowed to go there. That's a fact. So anyway, they studied it over and over and over. And we'll see lots of that. Determinations of plutonium and americium, or plutonium 240 and 239, atomic ratio in 237. Uh, I think that's neptunium concentration within marine sediment. Don't quote me. Dana was wrong on this one. The other, they won't mention the other ones where I was right, but I did a made a mistake. People will chop it up and use it to demonize me because I'm doing this tonight. They're sitting there right now. People are sitting there and they're writing down, go to go to 51 minutes and 38 seconds and chop out that little sentence where he says this here. We can use that later in a smear campaign like they already done to me. That's how it works. You got 2,000 PR firms. They got no one to pick on any me. It really feels that way. I'm not saying I'm the only person out there, but I, I'm definitely someone out there getting too much attention from those people, not from the right people. But what we're learning anyway is that tritium, is particularly in the doses we're talking about, that were hit away now recently since I got arrested, because I was at that site just before I got arrested. So from the time I got arrested to right now, about six weeks, they pulled the tritium standards off the Health Canada website. I mean, that is staggering all on its own. That is the friggin' bombshell, unimaginably, all on its own. But as we start to uh, go through these studies, we got a long way to go. Penetration of radionuclides across the skin, rat age dependent, uh, permeation through the skin in viral, that's where the baby. And so there's a lot of these studies, I only got a couple of them. The aim was to find the optimum rat skin age model for radionuclides studies and to access the relative importance of the main pathways that it gets through. So they study it right down to the minor details and they're able to apply that to humans and all the other models. But I'm going to overwhelm you. The skin from five day old rats, they've killed billions of rats in experiments, crucified them as cruelty to animals. No matter how you are, what do you think of rats, I don't care. It's still cruelty. It's still very cruel to be doing this to the animals. Oh, we got to do it, Dan, in case there's an accident. No, you never opened your mouth when there's an accident. You kept your mouth shut. You never helped anybody with any of this research ever, at any time ever. Only the nuclear industry figure out what was going to happen and get out there and cover it up before it shows up. It's all the industry ever does. It studies everything to know what's going to happen, and when it happens, they already got their cover story in the place. Oh, no, they can evaporate it from Three Mile Island. We can do it at Fukushima, right? Because that's what they went and done, and that's what they're doing. That's what they're calling for. Trust me, there's nothing good about this. There's nothing good about tritium. Tritium is very bad in the doses that we're getting. We already covered that one. Did I slip? Let's keep going. So there's lots of studies on the tidal zones. Uh, links in the transmission through the food chains, radionuclides, into and through the human food chain have been studied in some detail during the last 30 years. Initially, the occasion for these studies was the environmental contamination resulting from atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons. No one's after studying it for Fukushima. No one's after studying it from all the reactors that melted down on the coast of Japan. It wasn't just Fukushima, it was the Donny Plateau. I'm going to have a cigarette. My cigarette don't got 7,000 chemicals. Don't have a seizure. 
It's okay. Uh, so they studied all the radionucleoids from father, but they don't study it from accidents in your community. They don't study it. They do study it, though. They just don't make an issue of it. They don't talk about it. They don't tell people about it. They don't because you got to pay money to go read it. But you can read the synopsis. They got to throw radon in there. Radon doesn't exist in the chain reaction like the natural radon. If it does, it comes out with an extra atomic weight. Now it's a dirty bomb. Everything that comes out of a reactor, everything, everything that comes out of the reactor is a dirty bomb. That's how you got to look at it. Everything is a dirty bomb. It's everything was bombarded with neutrons and accepted electrons. Protons is electrons. Man-made natural and natural radioactivity environment and pollution. The onset of nuclear techniques can be closely connected with the discovery of X-rays at the end of the 19th century. And since then, vigorous process has been made, as in the case of each new technological achievement, not only benefits, but also dangers to humanity arises. By the use of ionizing radiation and radioactive isotopes in engineering, in medicine, in science, completing new techniques have been established. However, in strong contrast to these benefits, a lot of dangers and risks never conceivable before have been evoked. Acceptance by the public is controversial, not least due to the horror scenarios of the nuclear weapons. But the acceptance of the public is controversial because we've been updated and, and told us like a banana. That is like walking in a potato, or it's like eating potato chips or walking in sunshine or getting on an airplane. These are the laws of the industry. That's why I'm showing you all these studies today. That's why I'm showing you that one there. Radiation exposure from radionucleoids in groundwater, an uncertainty analyst of selected exposure scenarios. Radio exposure from radionucleoids in groundwater. They're not talking about natural. See? Yeah, but some, they mix it in there to confuse you if you do read it. It's done on purpose. They created the studies like the last one I showed you and put in natural to confuse you on purpose. That's the only reason it exists was when people read it, they couldn't wrap their mind around it because they don't know how to do it. They kept it so secret. They kept it so hush, hush. Anybody goes out and searches nuclear, immediately goes on a watch list. They have everybody terrorized. And it's such a complicated, they've made it that way on purpose so you can't understand it. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I better go check to make sure I'm actually still streaming. I am still recording. I am so, I'm still recording. Uh, hang on. Smoking doesn't help me remain pleasant. I smoked because for the first 15 years that I was smoking, I was told if I had a toothache, have a cigarette. If I didn't want to go to work, have a cigarette. If you don't want to go to school, have a cigarette. I wasn't told there were 7,000 chemicals in the cigarette. Right? But what I'm doing is I still have an addiction that I don't mind anymore because I don't have 7,000 chemicals in a cigarette. And so when I smoke, it's irrelevant to the death that we're showing, right? But I do put that out there to try to help people quit or change brands and smoke natural tobacco only and learn to give it up that way like I do. You never know it in these streams, but you got to realize how much stress it gets. It takes for me just to sit here and do this little stream that seems insignificant later. It was a stupid amount of work to get to this point. An incredible amount of... The last number of days I've done nothing only sleep and try to put this together and determine to get out and do it and make it happen, and here I am. But I had to coordinate the last four days of my life to accomplish what we're doing tonight for a couple of hours. And, you know, at least twice a day now I crash hard. I'm stressed out from being arrested and smeared across the country, and demonized and vilified and victimized by the nuclear industry and the media, and that my family is concerned, and that the people that have done this to me are laughing in glee and are enjoying it and liking it and, and engineered it to be that way 
to try to wreck me, try to wreck my loved ones and my friends and my families at the same time and to destroy my name in the community and everywhere else. And then they show up in my comments section with these snide remarks that they make about me and where they distract people from Fukushima, from the dangers and from the liars themselves in order to misrepresent everything I'm saying and to try to detract from what I'm saying. The fact that I have a cigarette is used all the time to try to discredit me because they got nothing else to work with. And if you want to use it, I don't care. I can't structure my whole life. Has I already wrecked my life? I can't have a cigarette once in a while. But I always got to put up the connotations that it don't have 7,000 chemicals because that's what they will do to me. They'll chop it up and they'll use it to come out and barbarize me and bludgeon me and anybody else now into silence, right? And they, they've already used my arrest to say, careful, you'll end up like Dana Durnford, smeared throughout the country. It's a hard thing to live with every day, trust me. It's a hard thing to wake up every day and know that they're doing this to me. When it's not true, when I didn't say that out of context, and I will, I will not withdraw none of my comments I've ever said for anybody on this fucking planet. You scumbag nuclear. All nuclear scumbags. So let's keep going. Radio nuclides and ecosystems of lakes. This was a Ural radioactive traces. Ural had a big accident in the, in the early 70s. This, um, don't quote me, I think Germany. The lake is situated on the central axis of eastern Ural radioactive trace, which was formed after the nuclear accident in the southern Urals. In 57. So they were looking at the distribution of 90 strontium and cesium. So we've studied this stuff for a very long time, and but also tritium was studied. And so water, uh, bottom sediments, aquatic plants, fish, accumulation coefficients. So they knew about it. All around, so they took that study there and they can apply it to nuclear power plants. They can apply it to the drinking water in the community when there was an accident. But they didn't do it that way. Also, Springer and Wally hid it away from everybody. That's why you're only getting the synopsis, the abstracts. Because I, I haven't got a million dollars to go out and buy these things. I can assure you, in the last couple of days, I don't know how many times I was tempted to go buy it. I just don't have the money. But, like, if I had the money, I would have a stack here now, at least this high that. I, I already got there, but I can never read it because I, I had to go out and find the, 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 the scientists, go find their blogs, go find them, and then go find when they talked about their study and learn about it that way because I can't afford to pay exorbitant amounts, prohibitive amounts of money to go read the study. Right? So that's the downfall. You can't, I can't take advantage of what we've done as a society collectively because it's locked up beyond the paywalls of three corporations, also for Springer and Wiley. Like Aaron Swartz stole um, over four million of their studies, which was nothing. It wasn't even a percent of a percent of the studies they got locked away that we produced with our tax dollars in our institutions. That we paid for the tenors, the universities, the institutions, but we can't even friggin' read it. They'll probably come after me for a uh, copyright because I'm showing you this. <laughs> I mean, they're anal, trust me. That's why the whole Springer staff quit. Radionucleoids and honeybees. So that was uh, 2006. 2006. Um, Radionucleoids and honeybees. No abstract available. But you can pay uh, thirty nine ninety five, and I would if I had the money to go do it. I don't have the money to do stuff like that, and I'm not asking for that. I'm asking. I am asking for money to, for the Skype machine. You can donate a PayPal. We got to raise another five thousand dollars. We never raised anything since Christmas, and that's been a waste since I got arrested. Really, we had a good run for the first four or five days, and so that saved my ass. If it wasn't for that, I would have been. I'd be done right now. You wouldn't see me. I wouldn't have showed up again. They would have done me in. If people didn't come out in those four days, five days before they they done something else to me. Who knows what they got done to me, but...
They've, they've definitely done the job on me. There's no doubt about it. I can't blame them. It's okay. I'm not going away. <laughs> I don't care what she does to me. I'm back. Um, sometimes I'm just going to meander, but we got a lot to get through. Radionuclides are introduced into or inorganic and organic molecules in order to trace these molecules in tissues and organs for diagnostic purposes. And so that's how the radionuclides get in your system through inorganic and organic molecules anyway. And so you can, you can flip that now on how it works. Almost 50 radioactive preparations, 20 different radionuclides currently prescribed nuclear medicine described in pharmacopodioptics are now available. Many more under experimentations, human evaluations. The main radionuclides nowadays are technetium-99. It's a fissionable product. Iodine-131. Is a fissionable product. Iodine-132, there's 10 times more iodine-132 than 131. 30 times more iodine-133, why not study that? But there was 31 times more iodine-129 with a 50 million year half-life, why not study that? And, you, and I know how to detect that, I got the headlines coming up for that, about that. But anyway, uh, what year was that study? It was downloaded 11 times, there's your tax dollars, locked up behind paywalls. Let's keep going. Radio nucleus in the aquatic environment. Uh, no date on that one. Downloaded 27 times. $39. Take her to the garden for a couple of hours. You're only renting it for $39 for a couple of days. That's all you get it for. You can read it online. You can't take screen captures of it. It's illegal. Even though you paid for it originally with your tax dollars. The aquatic environment is immense. Not only does the ocean cover 70% of the Earth's surface, but an average depth of about 4 kilometers to contain... Uh, blah 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 water plus dissolved salts fresh waters are much smaller kind of no more than 3% of the water on the planet so the aquatic environment receives the greatest input in radionuclides from the atmospheric test of radionuclear weapons how come well that was pre Fukushima studies because it fell out from atmospheric tests but now why not go back and study the fallout from Fukushima from the many, many, many melted reactors we've never seen on the planet before. Right? So if we went back, we ha we have, we already have studies in these places pre-Fukushima. All of these studies are pre-Fukushima studies. That's another way of looking at all these studies. These And the, it's just the abstracts, but... The aquatic environment is a small contributor. So the aquatic environment is only 3% of the planet. So when you have major fallout, 3% is not hard to contaminate because that is exactly what happens. Everything gets contaminated every time there's fallout. Everything. Particularly the water. And we're all dependent up on the water for our... And I'm going to show you lots of headlines about why, but... For our food and our water. Stuff like that. Kinetic experiments, radionuclides concerning the blood barriers in a guinea pig model. Since the 1950s, many animal radio tracer experiments have been performed to study inner ear kinetics. And for the most part in these studies, radionuclides were applied systematically, systemically following which a discontinuous probing of inner air fluids or inner air tissue was done. Two techniques have been developed so they take the rat and you stick a needle in and take out chunks out of their ears. Imagine someone doing that to you. Is that not cruelty? Does that not pain? They have been adapted to the direct and continuous measurements of inner... For this purpose, only a tiny amount of radio tracer need to be applied directly to the inner ear. The anesthetized Guinness pig as an animal model, but it wakes up after with a hole in its fucking head. Experiments were done. In the first technique, a blah, 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 blah. The second technique, blah, 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 blah. By ladder cycling techniques, blah, 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 blah. With exceptions of tritium labeled ones, that's the fifth sentence from the bottom, can be measured. Tritium can be measured, say, because it sticks around. It sequesters. It likes going into the blood. It likes going into the bones. It likes to hurt, too. Migration and concentration of artificial radionuclides. You got to pay for that one, too, B. 2010, pre-Fukushima. Artificial is man-made. Artificial is man-made. Here's some artificial ones coming up. Give me a second. Dana, you read the third sentence while I'm talking. Uh, there's see the artificial radionuclides, man-made tritium. That's gone off Health Canada's website. Uh huh. 
They probably got it there somewhere else in a different format. I'm sure it covered her friggin' sixes. I couldn't find it. So they're up to no good. Anyway, you got to pay to pay to play. But uh, there was supporting uh, documentation they had below it. Uh, tumors from inflammatory lesions. So tumors cause lesions around the toe. Um, for Alzheimer's disease, tritium. Right? Because they're linked, see? There's what's going on there. That's why they're doing that. Uh, radio trace with a high tumor uptake. <laughs> so the tumor uptakes more radioactive materials. So all that tritium, if you've got a tumor in your body, adding all this tritium in there, it's being uptake and causing the tumor to manifest even worse. Explore, you got to pay for all that stuff, but when you read through everything, like I've only done a refresher in the last number of days, but I originally done this about a month and a half, two months ago. And I have, I don't know, a couple thousand of these. I, I just read through everything that was dear originally, and I grabbed it too, but... Exposure assessments to radionuclide transfer in the food chain. It's hard to remember where... When it was fresh, I should have shot the video, I suppose, but whatever. So, mate! Uh, generally, sites with radioactive contaminations are also simultaneously polluted with many other different toxins and heavy metals. Besides the radioactivity, see, Fukushima is worse than every contaminant on the, pl on the planet combined through its whole history. The Fukushima meltdowns are worse than all the plastic in the ocean, all the cardboard, all the tin cans, all the, all the oil spills combined. In just this one spot. Not counting the Dini, not counting the other meltdowns along the Japanese coastline. And there was. Around 14 of them melted down. Massive releases that they hit away on us. And and it's only now that we forced them. We forced them last year to come out with three melted reactors. Most of the media came out and even Wikipedia changed their page. At TEPCO and put up three melted reactors. Because we, we, we stuck it to them over and over and over. So the radionuclides released into the environment can rise to human exposure by the transport through the atmosphere, aquatic systems, or through soil subcompartments. Use of radionuclides in cancer research and treatment. Only 2% of the chemotherapy, only 2% of chemotherapy uh, patients live longer than expected. 2%, most of them will die because of the chemotherapy. The majority of them die because of the chemotherapy that they took. Hang on, see if I got that one there. Um. <coughs> Hang on, I'll bring it up for you. Wait for it to load up here. Get rid of that for everybody. Chemotherapy kills cancer patients faster than no treatment at all. Think about that one. Chemotherapy kills cancer patients faster than no treatment at all. This study after study after study after study. So chemotherapy is is the sickest, twistedest, most wickedest, unimaginably demented thing imaginable. By the way, I'm live streaming, starting back on our schedule. Today's not one of them on yo. <laughs> but Dana Durnford, nuclear proctologist org. You can find the documentation from our five expeditions showing an extinction event along the coastline of British Columbia, Canada. And let's get rid of that for everybody. Let's keep on the trail. Let's keep on the straight and narrow. Use of radionuclides in cancer research is despicable. And the treatment of disease. You can't treat. See, and we're not to these studies yet. I should have had it lined up better than that. But I'll show you studies of how cancer raises all around reactors for leukemia for children and particularly little girls and how women breast cancers is elevated up to six times more breast cancer. You got six, you're six, you're, you're, that's it, you know, if you stayed there, they found you. What about you moved away? What about you went somewhere else? Do people move out of these places? Yes, they do all the time. These are in heavy populated areas because they're a transient, right? And so it's hard to, if you put it in a little town, then everybody in the little town would end up with cancer. All the farmers in that little town, all their animals would have died with tumors. Right, all, all the headlines you've seen in the media about UFOs abducting cows and animals, and, and this is the, they're close to nuclear power plants, all of that was. And so they had releases, they went out and killed some of the animals, stole their organs, and told the media 
to cover it up with a UFO story and everybody went down, I'll come down to see the UFO and nobody can talk any sense to them now. That's how that works, right? But this was a nuclear plant had done this and still doing it, killing the animals at the local farms to find out how much radiation went in that community and whether they should move their own loved ones out of the community. <clears throat> disposition, disposition of radionuclides among the main components of Lake Chevroni in the Eastern Ural radioactive traces. So this was the alluding to the, to these places were contaminated. See, data on the strontium and, and the cesium. They don't bother looking at the uranium, the plutonium very often, but they do. Don't get me wrong. So the distribution of these radionuclides over the profiles at the bottom of sediments there are mounts in the lakes or presence. They never got accurate studies. A lot of these were cover-ups. So the studies I tried to cherry-pick were trying to stay on topic. But I got some examples here, too. The experimental data have been used to construct mathematical models for estimating changes in the radionuclides concentration amount of water and bottom sediments of the lakes over a long period after the nuclear accident, as well as the tritium content of the lake water in different periods of time. Tritium contents of the lake water. Why is that a concern? Because it has extra electron, has a new atomic weight. It's tritium H3. It's it's a dirty bomb, see? But what they're doing is they're trying to cover up. Anyway, uh, non-standard radionuclides trying to get ready for new clinical pet strategies, right? This is where they're going to put out more man-made radionuclides into your children, your loved ones, your friends, your families, and kill them too. Everything nuclear is bad. Nothing nuclear is good. Everything about nuclear is terrible. And we got that documentation here tonight. And just on one isotope, the one that's considered the most harmless, is extraordinarily bad. Gee, go figure. The calculation of bone dose from alpha emitting bone surface seek and radionuclides from radiological protection purposes. Hey, it's only uh, thirty nine ninety five. We'll let you read it. Maybe. If you can register it. Vascular trombonus um, resulting in cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of mortality in the world. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what that one was all about. Systematic application of nuclear medicine technology to assess uh, the efficiency of punitive therapeutic agents, baboon models, a platent, a blood dependent vascular graft trombonus. And so they're investigating it. They're getting money from the taxpayers to create a, 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 not a solution, but a proposition so they can use it in institutions. So chemotherapy, you sign your life away. They can put a stick up your ass and walk around town with you on their shoulder until you died with the stick up your ass and you can't sue them. Well, no, that's chemotherapy. That's what chemotherapy is. You sign your life away. You sign your child's life away. You, you said, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to murder you. You're doing that because you were indoctrinated by the media. You're doing that because you believe the system got some good left in it. Or you believe it because you're fucking gullible and you're stupid. And nobody can talk to you because you're an ignorant ignoramus and nobody really fucking cares about you. And so you're self-centered and pompous. I don't know. But if you're not going to listen to other people, only the academics who are known lawyers and known to be fucking murderers, Nobody can help you. Your main media is nothing but a mass murdering pack of shit. Your main universities are all PR firms for the corporations. Every one of them. There's nothing good ever come out of a university, only a fucking casket. No offense to anybody that ever went to university. I disrespect the professors, is what I'm saying. In a <laughs> very blatant way. The results of dosimeter. Dosimetric measurements and determination of radionuclides, pesticides, and persistent organic pollutants in agricultural soils 24 years after Chernobyl. What are you putting fucking pesticides in with that? To confuse you. Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident. They didn't use pesticide in the Chernobyl. You won't see pesticide. Add pesticide to E equals MC square. Or a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine. So the people that does that to you are revolting. They're subhumans. Transfers of radionuclides to crops. You got carcinogenic effects of inhaled, inhaled radionuclides. 
You got genetic risk to man from exposure to long-lived radionuclides. Almost all of these are about tritium. Ionizing radiation, irrespective of whether it is received from external sources or internally deposited radionuclides, are capable of causing genetic damages that will be transmitted from one generation to the next. Including animals and mammals and insects and birds and, and plants and flannas and floras. Since strictly relevant human data is limited at present, there is no alternative. There is no human data that is limited. They have all of that. Like I'm showing you here today. But this guy says, oh, no, it's limited. Yeah, it's limited because you've got to pay $39.95 just to read a, a study in order to collect up all the data. It costs you a million dollars. And if your universities only have a little tiny, 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 like Aaron Schwartz stole four million academic journals. There ain't a university out there with that many in their library, except for the big institutions. But that's produced every year in North America, not counting every other country on the planet. Animal studies revealed the plutonium reaching the testes and concentration in the tissue, but is later aggregated, apparently leading to a reduction in effectiveness. Well... You know, if we go look at, you know, not mention no names, but Dr. Raymond Gilman, eh? his study showed 1.5 to 5.4 years, tumors in the lung skeleton occurred, beginning three years, Bomer tumors in 93, 93 out of 144 with bone tumors and lungs. The rest of them, they all had basically different tumors in them too, but they mostly died of the lung tumors. <laughs> Pop right into the ballpark with that one. Yay to the ballpark. So we're gonna start burning through these now. Transfer of radionuclides to plants influences on the speciations of radionuclides in the soil. The qualifications of the soil to plant transfer by means of transfer factors and concentration ratio value presents high range of variation. Okay. Sounds pretty complicated to me. How about if it's 7,000 becquels a liter? <laughs> How about if it's 20 million becquels a liter of iodine? 131. But then you got to multiply that to by 31 to get how many was in a liter of iodine 129 with a 50 million year half life. How about that stuff? Let's talk about that stuff for a change. But not tonight. Tonight we're going to keep going down the road. Transfers of radionuclides to plants influences on the soil. Assessments of radionuclides, tra trace metals, radionuclides transfer from soil to food. A lot of, once again, the majority of almost all of this is including, see that one there is actually put the potassium-40 and radon and thorium in there to confuse everybody because that's natural stuff. Well, there's a lot more natural stuff that there's man-made, therefore, nothing to worry about. That's, that's how they've been doing it to you for all these years. What you've got to worry about is the fact that a single atom can cause a cancer but it takes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years to manifest, diagnose, start the treatment, start liquidating your assets, blah, 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 blah. But before that, there's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies that can show up. Alzheimer's, dementia, liver, lung, respiratory, pituitary glands, heart, diabetes, all kinds of issues will show up pre-cancers. Uh, anthropogenic radionuclides, which are man-made. Don't put man-made or put anthropogenic. Radionuclides, bioaccumulation, Antarctic marine fauna. And ecological reverence, relevance. Plasticities of investigations on the presence of artificial radionuclides and bioaccumulation in Antarctic fauna is due to the erroneous belief that this area is pristine. We report evidence of significant levels of the artificial radionuclides of strontium, cesium, americium, plutonium isotopes can be found in sponges, bivalves, krills, dismal fish fauna of Terranova Bay, Ross Sea. Sometimes with a seasonal pattern, increasing concentrations were detected in the bivalves and Arctic scallops during summer months as a result of major tropic activity and changes in, uh, changes in the uptake. Because if you're warmer, you uptake it differently, right? And bioconcentration factors are artificial radionuclides, which are man-made. There are nuclear bombs, dirty bombs. They're dirty bombs. When you see that, that's the result of dirty bombs from our institutions, our universities, our corporations. Our media has been tasked with covering it up for 70 years. And they, they get millions of dollars to be a media 
host because they are lawyers. They have to sell you the ideology so you believe and you argue and you fight people like me. No, Dean is like a banana. No, Dean is like walking in the sunshine, Dina. No, Dina. It's only bad if a terrorist gets a Dina. I just want to puke every time I hear the friggin' names. Let's keep going. Far from done yet. I'm far from done yet. We haven't got that far to go, I guess. We're not going to keep everybody up all night, but we're going to keep rocking and rolling. 7.55 here in British Columbia, Canada, and Powell River. Where was I? What am I doing? How am I getting there to the next stage of the program? Protection of human health from mixtures of radionuclides and chemicals in drinking water. You can't protect human health from mixtures of radionuclides and chemicals. So you got to mix that up, right? Chemicals. Stick to the radionuclides. you got to put chemicals in. Well, there's a lot of chemicals out there, honey. I don't know nothing about nuclear, but I know lots of chemicals. There are chemicals under the sea, under the sink. Right? So that's how the game is played. <coughs> Gonna have another cigarette now. <laughs> Let's keep going. So the study was undertaken to develop a common scale for val evaluating health risk. So they can roll up the media and say there's no health risk because scientists say it's like drinking a banana. And John Neal from Oklahoma University comes out and it's like a banana. You get more radiation than you will if you're eating a banana. Oh, banana. Yeah, they're going to put him on their freaking headlock. The old hockey sweater over. Somebody's going to someday when he says it. By intent, regulatory toxicology depends on data sparse, model intensive. <laughs> From exotic animal genetics and novel exposure. Novel. Novel. Have you seen what they got done to this planet just from Fukushima? <laughs> it's everywhere. They got it everywhere now. These are pre-Fukushima studies anyway. Detection of metals, radionuclides using rapid on-site antibiotics. Hang on. All pollutants are soon to contribute to toxic injury. Injury. Next, relative potencies are linked to the most credible standards. <laughs> I got a lot of credible standards for us tonight. Let's put this one into the ballpark once and for all. Tritium is the worst thing imaginable. That's why he pulled it off Health Canada's website in the last number of weeks. Right? That's why he pulled that model. Right? Health Canada pulled that model off their website. It's gone, man. You won't find that one there anywhere. You might find a different version of it. I can't find it. But they pulled it off their website. So they're up to no good. Transfers the radio influence on the... Uh-oh, looks like I screwed up. Yeah, we done that one, didn't we? Yeah, that was the one we left off, and I think... I gotta watch what I'm doing here. So you can study... Uh, you, know the, you know the radiation is in you from the antibody... antibody-based. Uh, so your body starts... Like, it's, it, your body floods itself with white blood cells. Let me come back to that model again. So, that's the Canadian drinking water standards. Um, and they just pulled it off their website. Because they, they had snuck that out there and they put man-made stuff there, the artificial. So when your child is drinking that, what happens? From the tritium, the strontium, the iodine, the cesium. Well, the child, when they consume it or get a bad in it, their body is attacking those radionuclides with white blood cell or with white blood cells, and so that's displacing the oxygen molecule in your child's blood cell or your blood cell, or your dog's or your cat's or your or your friends or your family's or your loved one's body. It's displacing the oxygen molecule with a white blood cell to attack all of those atoms. Now you can't destroy the atoms with white blood cells or battery acid. If you took those atoms, you took those six. In, in a liter, this is in a liter, in a liter, all of those atoms, 7,000 tritium, if you put that in battery acid, you can't destroy it. The, the five becquels of strontium, you can't destroy that with battery acid. And you can't, you can't get, because we won't even try to get it out of our water. Well, we'll just raise the limit and we'll just sneak it out there and when no one will say nothing and then Dana showed up and now they pulled it off their website. That got pulled off their website. Gone after website, see? That's the most significant thing imaginable. One of the most important videos I'll probably ever make in my entire life is right here tonight. 
It's got everything there for you to finally get it together, to finally understand how big the lie is about the tritium and about the radionucleoids and about the cover-up itself. It's all here already in the video. And I don't have 7,000 chemicals in my cigarette. CNTs. Let's keep going. Oh. I'm going to move down. Bioaccumulation in flana. Protection of human health. Mixtures of radionuclides. we already done that one, Dana. Transfer of radionuclides to wildlife. How do we end up? An ecological system out of barren seas. I'm just trying to get on track here. Ultra high resolution imaging system, potential applications and limits. Uh, choices of radionuclide and radio labeling techniques. Considerations on the choices and types of suitable for tumor therapy. There is no radionuclide suitable for tumor therapy. Your body attacks it with white blood cells. All that radionuclides you're putting in there is being attacked. Your body has to flood itself away. It's you probably got the tumor because you drove past a nuclear power plant with your window down and breathed it in. Radionuclides in the soil and water near a low level deposit disposal site and potential ecological and human health impact. Tritium, tritium, tritium. But also tissue samples were collected from deer and elk accidentally killed. Accidentally killed, yeah. So uh, 3H was tritium, strontium, uranium, 238 plutonium, 239, 240 plutonium, 241 americium, 137 cesiums. Uh, Low-level waste deposits, uh, disposal site of Los Alamo National Laboratory. Once again, tritium is, a, is the one of the first ones they list, right? Uh, based on meat consumption, 23 kilograms, blah, blah. Human doses were also modeled using dose rates to deer were estimated with a screening model, dose estimates to human from tissue consumption. So they studied this inside and out, and they knew what was going on so their loved ones wouldn't eat it. They told you to go ahead and eat it because you can't trace it back to them. You can't trace back the cancer you got 20 years ago. You can't even remember 20 years ago, can you? And you might have passed it on to your kids from something 20 years ago to two years ago. You had a kid two years ago, you could have passed it genetic, and you did. Particularly from Fukushima. Therefore, the activity and concentration of various long-lived radioactive radionuclides released due to Chernobyl accident and the corresponding contributions to the whole body dose rate was studied at a function of time, mammalian indicating species inhabiting the natural forest ecosystem of Belarus. So, Coffee Anna said in 2000 there were 3 million children, permanent disabilities down in that, that area, right? Uh, the studies weren't done on them, they were done on the animals though in that whole area. Right, so the children had the problem, 3 million children had that problem was because of the same studies they're doing here. They didn't do it on the kids, that's all. But they done it on the animals and then they were able to, to correlate it to the kids. And then they'd say, oh, well there was a a oil leak at a at a well there during that period, you probably got cancer from that. Right, that's how that game works, eh? I'm not gonna do well on much stuff here. We'll keep moving. Environmental behaviors of radionuclides deposited after a reactor accident of Chernobyl. Right? You still can't sell the meat or drink the milk in the UK, Ireland, and Scotland, or sell the land. You just opened the fishery because they said fuck it after Fukushima. In Sweden, two years ago, they were closed since Chernobyl. Experimental induction of bone tumors by short-lived bone-seeking radionuclides. Tritium, all these are tritium, actually, at one point or another in the study. But they also include many other radionuclides. But they throw in the radium to fool you over, to freak you over. The human radium case is based on industrial occupation. Medical experiments continue to provide basic information on the effects of internal radiation and radiocarcinogenics in man. The danger of strontium-90 in atomic fallout and the possibility of industrial accidents with plutonium, like Fukushima, the jet streams come right to North America within a couple of days. You're talking about a gram of this stuff, there's more atoms 
You put two million atoms on the head of a needle, you can't see that's two million cancers. But a gram produces more atoms than every grain of sand on every beach on the planet combined. There's five million pounds in each reactor. That went kapui. That I showed you earlier. Atom experiments will help to elucidate the problems of radiation hazards in addition to increase our understanding of the mechanisms of radiation carcinogenics. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Good job, dear mister. And how many times was that downloaded? 11 times. Well, there was a lot more than that. Uh, looking at it tonight, that's 41 more people seen it tonight than seen it the whole time it's been up at Springer's website. So 41 more people seen that tonight. Now, tonight, uh, we'll catch up to that over by tomorrow. We'll, we'll be more than 301 people will see it. So we'll have more people see that study because I got it here tonight and seen it. Its entire history has been created. A lot of these studies were 60s and 70s. So they had no exposure unless I showed it here tonight because they don't want to show you that stuff. State of the ecosystem and long-term contamination of transgenic radionuclides. Well, we know that WIP, they were stored, they got over two tons of plutonium stored there. Right? And they went to call downblending it where they mix it with soil and blah, blah, blah. And so it's not in a concentration. But still in a concentration because it's still there in one spot. Right? This is the lies of the industry. This is what makes the industry so, so dangerous. Everything I'm showing you here tonight is what makes this so dangerous. The lady, the levels of radioactivity contamination with transgenic elements in the territory of the Belarus as a result of nuclear weapons tests in Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident have been accessed by 17 different. The modeling approach for to reme remediation of forest contaminated by radionuclides is to chop the forest down, come in with the bulldozers, plow up um, 30 inches of the topsoil and the roots and everything, put it all in a nuclear waste site and eventually make a sarcophagus that can contain it. But who knows what they're going to come up with, hokey pokey. The extensive radionuclides contamination resulting from Chernobyl. Chernobyl was one third the size. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl was over a million dead from 2,500 peer review studies translated from Ukraine and Germany and published at the New York Science of Academies. At Chernobyl, would they abandon the homes in Fukushima to get a free home? In Chernobyl, they use graphite, which is to contain the, radio, the radioactive materials. Where in Fukushima they used MOX fuel, which is pellets, which was uh, reclaimed plutonium uranium from missiles from silos. And so the, it goes on and on and on. For Chernobyl was one third the size of any of the reactors at, Chern at Fukushima. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days, but it contaminated the EU. Fukushima's killed the Pacific Ocean. Chernobyl he located the core, it was an elephant's foot, right? And I can show you pictures another time, but not tonight because we're still trying to cruise through everything. We're going to jump back right away. And Chernobyl, uh, Fukushima, we don't know where the cores are. 100% meltdown, melt throughs, melt outs. Very disturbing stuff. So 21 people downloaded this one. Tonight, more people have seen this headline than have downloaded, ever seen that, most likely. Uh, X rays, slow neutrons, radionuclides from targeted radio, radio therapy. That's terrible stuff. General breakthrough in the prevention or therapy of neoplastic diseases is not likely to occur before the potential of modern molecular biology can be fully exploited. Whatever the prospects of such a major scenario change, the desired development will certainly require decades of basic and clinical research, mass murder of animals and humans uh, before they can do it. Without a doubt, it will be a human and social economical problem in the foreseeable future. One in three children born now are likely to suffer from life-threatening tumors during their lifetime. One in three. I gotta let Zoe down. Hang on a second. Hi Zoe. You wanna get down? Okay, here we go, buddy. Yeah, here you go. There you go. Up you go. Left, right, left, right. Here you go, buddy. Good job, Zoe. Good job. I'm gonna close the door a little bit. <laughs> it's my little guard dog. She's in guard duty most times. She's really good. Nothing escapes her scrutiny, trust me. <laughs> and she's pretty good. She wasn't here when he kicked my door in, though, when I came, just before I came back the last time. 
from court. When I came back from court, my door was kicked in. Never stole nothing. Hi, guys. <laughs> they don't need a recording of mine anymore. They can get it live uh, all the time. I'm not going away at all. Sources and pathways of artificial radionuclides in the Northern Sea. Sources and pathways. <laughs> How about the tens of thousands of miles of rain that picks it up every day through evaporation and brings it in and hits your mountains and it all washes back down to your coastline? How about that pathway? <laughs> I ain't gonna waste my time looking. Measurements of national air, national natural and artificial radionuclides in food samples and water for human consumption in Austria for the calculation of ingestion doses because they know it's all contaminated. See. <laughs> Ain't no reported food habits. Yeah, I bet it is. It's not. It's new to us, not new to them. They knew about this when it happened. See, mixed diets of food stuff are measured within the monitoring program, according to the Austrian Radiation Protection Law, Food Law, and Commission recommendation of 2000, 473. Eat your atoms. <laughs> e U R right? E your atom. <laughs> you can't make it up, see. On the application, Article 36 at Eat Your Atom, Treaty Concerning the Monitoring of the Levels. <laughs> You're not concerned. You're burning money, tax very money. I didn't see it. How many people read that? How many people downloaded that again? Oh, I don't know. None. <laughs> really none. The major part of the ingestion dose is caused by natural radionuclides, especially potassium-40. You tell me that's not a cover-up he just done there. You tell me that's not a, a, a absolute uh, abomination of academics. That's not a betrayal. Major part of the ingestion, of course it is, because everything got natural radiation in it. That's not, that's not from E equals MC squared. That's not from a chain reaction. Right, so this is any lie to you. This is any fool you, trick you, deceive you. It's okay, though, because you get a lot more from natural. Yeah, but natural is something we're acclimated through genetic superior selection. But that's the problem with these. They're so tricky. They're so slick, eh? Concepts found in this article. They forgot to put in the word bullshit. And lying sex is shit. And nuclear PR firm shit. Applications of radionuclide. Downloaded 44 times. Freddy for radionuclides were first used for therapeutic purposes. <laughs> Jeez. You remember that one? It was uh, uranium suppositories. Yeah, I wonder how that worked out for them. Therapeutic. Uh, Beer uh, curry. That radium source is brought into contract with skin produced burns. Yeah? So it was all suppository. Already right, by 1950, sealed sources of radium and radon were in use. Now, that's not with the extra electrons added onto it, new atomic weights, right? But that stuff is st still bad when it's refined. In nature, it's not bad, though. We're acclimated to it through, and so is everything on the planet, through genetic superior selection. But in the 1950s, radiotherapy had become much more widespread due to the development of PR firms and nuclear apologists and bootlick and cheerleading lapdogs for the industry and remote source handling techniques. Oh, remote source handling techniques. Remote source like machines because it's dangerous. It's deadly. Curry lost her hand, then she died of cancers, right? And autoimmune deficiencies caught up with her. Global follow radionuclides in the plants and terrestrial ecosystems of the Ural region. The background level the soil pollution was found, blah 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 kilometer, blah 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 in the Ural region, the average content of strontium in the above ground mass. Uh, plants, mosses, lynchings was equivalent, while the contents of the 137 are much higher in mosses and lynching than in the plants. The maximum range of variability of the storage capacity in relation to strontium-90 was observed in plants, while that <coughs> was found in mosses. The content of the radionuclides is determined by the special characteristics of the plants within each group. So they were studying how it uptakes it, so they know what's in your food. They know what's in your children's uh, supplements. They know what's in your children's toys. They know what's in your children's clothing if it's made from any of this stuff. Long-term health effects of radionuclides in food and water. Yeah, more than 90 years have elapsed since discovery ionizing and its capacity caused various types of injury. 
like debt and disease and dismemberment. In the meantime, studies of such injury have received continual emphasis from the growing uses of radiation and medicine, science, industry, and nuclear industry. And as a result, the biomedical effects of ionizing radiation have received greater study and are better known than those of other environmental agents. So they studied man-made better than they did the natural stuff. <laughs> you wonder why we're all gotten to shit. They done that to cover up and find ways to kill us more efficiently, more effectively. Nothing good about it, see? Nothing good. But this is all about tritium. Yeah, they got the other radionuclides, but they all include tritium. Everything we got here has got tritium in it. Fibrous sorbents for decontamination of the complex. So they use fibrous sorbents to, to take decontamination from milk, removing cesium from the milk. But do they do it? No. Do they do it from the wealthy and the elite? Yes. To make sure they're never going to get it in there? Yeah. Novel methods for preparation? Anyway. But based upon the structure, they got it to a science, you know. Mobility of radionuclides in the soil plant system. Big bucks for that one. You're not getting into that one very easy. Possible ways to access it? Pay us some money. Certified references into comparisons, performance evaluation, emergency preparedness, exercise material for radionuclides in food. So they, they have they have these preparedness right through to your country. They do all kinds of studies on it in case the terrorists get it and contaminate your food. Right? You can read the article if you want to pay for it. The threat to global security from terrorist attacks does not solely arise from the illicit use of firearms, explosives, or weapons of mass destruction. Terrorist threats will inevitably become more subtle as information expertise is acquired by terrorist groups. Ter 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 terrorists! And one vulnerable area is food and food supply chain. We already had it done to us. It's called nuclear power plants, nuclear waste sites, nuclear dumps, nuclear proliferation, nuclear dumping in the estuaries, lakes, rivers, communities, oceans over the last seven decades. Many laboratories, especially in countries with nuclear programs, involved routine monitoring of food stuff. Yeah, but they never found nothing after Fukushima. But if a terrorist does it, like, like the A-10 Warthog only shoots dirty bombs. The Abrams tanks only shoot dirty bombs. They fired 5.5 million rounds a month from just rifles and machine guns. Half of those were coming from McAllister's bomb manufacturing facility in McAllister, Oklahoma, with an A. McAllister. And all he did do is produce dirty bombs. Prince Harry, in the back of that uh, helicopter, all he fired in Afghanistan and Iraq was dirty bombs. Depleted uranium, Dolram. It used to be called Dolram, depleted uranium munitions. Dolram was the depleted uranium low-level radioactive materials. It's got extra electrons from a neutron bombardment. It's a dirty bomb. If a terrorist gets it, it's a dirty bomb. If we do it, it's a, it's okay, man. It's like potassium-40, Dana. Let's keep going. <coughs> Emergency preparedness exercise material for radionuclides and food. Paper examines the need for references, performances, blah, blah, blah. Research in the discharge of radionuclides to the atmosphere and assessments and maximum permissible discharges in the context of reprocessing of nuclear power plant fuel elements. So when they were going to start using mixed oxide fuel, Right, and so the biggest production there is curium, which is a fissionable product. But tritium is a big tritium. This is all about tritium, I know. But uh, we get all the radionuclides that are the common ones they, they tell us about. There's two thousand they don't bother talking about, and I don't even talk about, it, of course. Uh, but the reprocess of the nuclear fuel plant fuel elements. This is where you reclaim the plutonium and the uranium. Now, once it goes through a chain reaction, it's already unstable. And it's two million times worse than what it was before you put it in the chain reaction. Before the chain reaction, you reach some heavy gloves and equipment, and you can kind of pick it up and use it for a few moments. When it went to a chain reaction, it will kill you in a few seconds if you're that close to it. It will kill everybody in the theater, 1,500 people, in 20 minutes. It will kill all of them, uh, everybody on the planet until the end of time, every 20 minutes. 1,500 people will pop. So if you had a thousand theaters with 1,500 people in each theater and everybody lined up ready to march in the theater and then every 20 minutes the bottom of the theater, 100 theaters drop out and 
there's 1,500 people in each theater. They, they're all dead. They're all gone. The floor comes back in. 1,500 people run into each theater. You can exterminate everybody on the planet. Short order. With just a pound in each theater. And the, and the reactors had 5 million pounds. The reactors detonated and lost their inventories. You know, 5 million pounds. But they were 5 million pounds every time they took it out and put it up on the roof to cool down for a decade. And so they, they would have had around 25 million pounds upstairs in the building, at least. And then you have common spent fuels where they would have took it off the roof and put it in the fuel pools outdoors on the ground where the tsunamis ran in over those and ripped them apart and destroyed them. And it took out the infrastructure of the country. Um, but yeah, no, you're not getting no data on that guy. You're not getting no data on that guy. And so let's keep going. And it affects the basic chemical characteristics of soil and mobility of radionuclides. So that's the only time about certain soils. Go ahead, Zoe. Careful. Oh, oh, oh. Good job, Zoe. You good girl. Good girl, Zoe. You got it. Yeah. So it affects the basic characteristics of soil and mobility of radionuclides. Like some, some nuclides are going to get caught up on the soil. We know that the farmers and prefectures in Japan had to remove all the rocks from their soil in order to grow anything there because the radionuclides were sticking to the rocks. But what they do to decontaminate the soils in the farms is they don't decontaminate it, see? They remove the rocks and then they downblend it. They mix it with fresh soil without radionuclides. It's called down blending. It's called murder in every other textbook. It's dirty bombs. But it's called murder, but they call it down blending. Whenever you hear the word down blending, that's keyword for murder. Mass murdering. Yeah. That's the game, see? They don't have any the rules they got are not the rules of moral compasses. They're the rules of cowards. When you shine a light on them, they, they swivel up and die and they catch fire and they blow up. Okay, Zoe. Hey, hey, hey. Interplay between the basic chemical characteristics of soil of the Belarusian and the tightness of the fixation of the Chernobyl derived 137 and 90 strontium. Now there's 2,000 elements we're worried about, not just cesium and strontium from Chernobyl. That's all you want to talk about. That's all you're going to hear about. That's all I'm going to be able to tell you about because that's all they're, they are able to look at. No, no, you don't want to look at that because by proxy then you open up Pandora's uh, box of, of mass murder. There's a movie here called Pandora Box where they, they equate it with a banana and potato chips and getting on an airplane. That is the worst person on the planet. That is the worst, well, outside of Uvic and Woods Hole Oceanographic uh, spokespeople. These are, they are the worst people, trust me. Those the people got me arrested and now going to have to face the own whistle themselves when I beat them in court and I hit them with a lawsuit. It's coming. I got no idea how I'm going to raise enough money to do it, but I will be doing it. We got too many other things that got to get done but we definitely got to take them apart. And then after 16 lawyers, I couldn't get a lawyer. So I'm going to end up having to try this myself. I'm still trying to seek a lawyer. But I know I'm going to have to try this myself. I just, after 16 lawyers laughed at me, told me they're not taking on the University of Victoria Law School. I can't afford to pay them enough. I said, well, tell me how much you want before <laughs> we come to that decision. But no. The reactor accident at Unifor Chernobyl power station resulted in non-controlled release for 10 days. For 10 days. And all these studies that I have been showing you about that were just because of 10 days. What about Fukushima? Non-stop. Three 100% meltdown in a fort is 100% melt through. It's like Chernobyl's a candlestick. But they don't want to talk about Fukushima. They just they don't want to go there. Remember, this is all about tritium too tonight. So what I'm showing you is the studies that they've done. Retention of radionuclides by some aquatic freshwater plants. Some, that's just the ones in particular that they study. It's not applicable to all the nuclear plants out there. We're almost up to two hours. Wimpy lawyers. That's right, Elaine. You got it. <coughs> Assessment of gamma emitting radionuclides in the aquatic ecosystem near atomic power station and evaluation of rheological doses to the aquatic plants. But forget about the people in the area. Forget about the animals in the area. 
even though that gets mentioned, is not put on the pedestal. Are you more worried about the plants in your neighborhood or your children in the neighborhood? Me, I'm worried about the kids in the neighborhood, okay? That's just me. I know I'm not like everybody else. I'm not like a nuclear scientist who can look past the children and say, well, we should look at the plants. Low-level plutonium amaration estimates estimation in liquid waste from nuclear reactors. Low-level plutonium and americium estimation of liquid waste. Liquid waste is the effluences that they uh, leach out into your environment. Oh, it's okay. It's just it's not in there. There's only tritium. And, but there's tritium and all of that. Tritium is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Health effects and dose matrix. Uh, Mr. Bundy. See, a lot of these, if I had my Skype machine, a lot of these people I would, I would be finding and getting their phone numbers and getting them up for interviews that done real good interviews uh, because 93 people were interested in his story as you can see over in the bottom corner, right? Downloads, reference, work, entry, metrics. So more people will see this in the next couple of days than he's had exposure since this was done, whatever year that was. Tritium is a radioactive isotope. Of hydrogen is produced both naturally. Now, not the, T, not the 3H3 is not naturally. That's from electron accepted from a neutron bombardment in a chain reaction. That's not the same tritium from, from sunlight and hydrogen, okay? So that's totally different stuff. One's a molecule, the other one's an atomic atom. See? As a hydrogen isotope, a tritium atom behaves in the same physical and chemical matters as a hydrogen atom, and so it becomes part of water molecules, an organic molecule. Right? So that's the, they're talking about man made now. In these forms, tritium is a very mobile and candidate for biological systems, has the potential to damage living cells. It has the, okay. Well, how about when there's 7,000 beckles in a liter? And do, do kids, uh, you know, like the human body absorbs three liters getting a bath or a shower, and that you're drinking water all the time, you use water to cook your food, you use water to wash your clothing. And we're not trying to come up with solutions for any future generation. We're, we're saying, I'm going to put my head down in a bucket of sand and wait till everybody stops screaming. But nobody is screaming. In in the real world, like, I, I shouldn't say those words, I guess, but out in the out in the academic world or nor in the media. They're covering it up 100% of the times. And now Health Canada has just pulled this off their website. When you go look up Health Canada drinking water standards, you should have found that. We, we've done this many, many times. This, this is a huge story tonight. So let's keep going. Let's wind it down. Let's start burning through some of the studies. <coughs> Transfer of radionuclides to plants. Studies about, and it shows about the tritium gets mentioned in all these studies, but I'm not going to bother uh, shifting through it because I could never, it'll take us all night and all tomorrow and all the next day just to get through what I got there. And I haven't even scratched it, so I'm going to start moving pretty fast here. Just to give you an idea. 11 people seen this one, assessments of radionuclides, trace metals, and radionuclide transfers from soil to food. That's a different study than the one you've seen earlier. And so you might see the same name, but they're different studies, different years. 2000, anthropogenic, that's man-made radionuclides, bioaccumulation, Antarctic, marine, flannas, and ecological uh, Protection of human health from mixtures of radionuclides. Somehow that seems like the same one. Let me scroll way down. Maybe I screwed up. And Accidentally copied these, who knows? Let's go to this one. Tritium health effects. Yeah, so that's showing up again. Age dependent radio sex sensitivity and mouse mouse's tests. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these studies showing up again for some reason. Occupational risks and handling of radioactive substances. Um Pigmentation occurred on the forearms, face and breasts. 1896, 1930, 1959 studies on that, showing that. Radioactive release from nuclear power plants and fuel facilities, fuel cycle facilities, tritium is always measure, uh, mentioned somewhere. Oh yeah, we're going to keep moving. But anyway, let's keep going. Environmental impacts and risk. There's so many studies, like you said, we're never going to get through. A model for calculation of tritium Accumulation leakage. That's because I've been flicking around. I lose track when I do that. I gotta watch what I'm doing. Chemical forms and specific activity of tritium extracted from uh, neutron irradiated 
lithium alloys. That's how a lot of it's created. Development of a compact tritium recycling system didn't work, of course. The control of tritium and ethyl. Yeah, how come? Interaction of tritium with graphite. Very important. Calculations radiation induced DNA damage from proton and tritium beta, beta particles. Uh, and so I was just laid, the first two hours were laid in the foundation. Now we'll burn through this stuff. We've got a long way to go yet. Computer tritium concentrations in the heavy water reactor. You know, and very interesting stuff. Uh, let me just come back for one second and explain something to you about not just academics. All six editors of 31 editorial boards, members. I better get that picture up here because you can't see jack shit. So all six editors and all 31 editorial board members, uh, one of the top journalists in linguistics last week's reassigned. Don't come to my video. You'll hate me. I can't pronounce jack shit. Everybody will be making fun of me. I oh, can't even pronounce a simple five syllable word, Dina. As soon as January, the editors, one of the editors who quit noted that he'd be better off going to flip burgers in the time he spent working for the journal rather than accepting their tiny amount. Elsevier sprays him. So, sprays him, pays him. So the number of around 10,000 would pay 2,000 online access print out prices quoted Elsevier website uh, academic library in the United States with a total student facility so like exorbitant amounts of money and worst it's a scam where all of us are victims the sharing of knowledge like I'm doing here tonight and the ability to learn from others and to build on their work is a core aspect of how learning science and education advances right so everything I'm showing you tonight that's what it's all about and Elsevier has rejected all that in favor of fat profits, but also to stop you understanding, stop you being able to really go into the studies that I'm talking about and showing and presenting for everybody. Right? Like Dr. Raymond Gilman, his studies on dogs are definitive, yeah? And let me keep uh, talking. Put that there to keep you on track. Yeah, I'm slipping away. But uh, we're going to come over in a little while and say hi to everybody and good night. Yeah, boy, Alex. And we're winding down. Like you say, it's one of those nights where we've got a long, uh, big stream, long stream. So we're winding down. We, we're not going to be much longer. I'm just going to flip through a bunch of studies. We're not going to get through them all tonight. But we can uh, pick up again tomorrow and finish off a lot of this if that becomes a good idea. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to organize my life. We've got to head down to court again for the 28th of this month. So we're going to have to raise a bit of money for that. And people can donate at the Nuclear Proctologist with credit cards. i got a new system I'm trying to implement right now so people can donate with bank cards and everything else. All the credit cards and everything else. But for the time being, PayPal is there. Uh, type in Dana Durford at Hotmail.com. At PayPal, that's how you do it. It's really easy to set up an account and put money on it and donate. And you can donate with credit cards directly at nuclearproctologist.org. So uh, atomic effects and the, of the, on the estimation mass from um, in tritium decay is well studied, this kind of stuff. How atoms, because they've done a rigorous, it's been done many times, right? So we know it's bad, see? That's why they pulled it off Health Canada website. Hot atom, chemical behavior is a tritium. Hot atom, see, think about the word, hot atom, chemical behavior, hot atom. They call it that because it's from a chain reaction, see? It's not molecular. It's a hot atom. It's an atomic uh, atom. It's an atomic uh, tritium, not a molecule tritium. There's a big difference. Uh, loose water tritium disposition, distribution in soil around um, some place. Studies have been made of loose water tritium and behavior in soil samples taken from two kilometers of the stacks. I don't know the name of that anymore. I think it says a long time ago that I grabbed it, and I can't remember. Measurements of recharge rates in soil through the detection of tritium produced in Chinese thermal nuclear tests. That's 1980 study, and 
Let me keep going. We'll burn through a few more and we'll call it a night. Uh, 2001 tritium sorptions by modified natural blah 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 who knows what that means in connection with problems interaction of tritium containing underground water the mechanism of tritium sorption involving inorganic compounds was proposed modification so capacities uh, heavy ion fusion targets with, without tritium so there's a lot of uh, tritium is really important process when it comes to fusion reactors I'm just going to check and see if that's uh, somebody oh god hang on oh yeah that was James and Bill down in Australia cheers folks thank you and they have helped out dramatically just two people just two individuals out in Australia have done so much to put us back in the game. Incredible difference. And and there's so many people like that out there. I I I I shouldn't say the word hate, but I sometimes you gotta recognize people too, right? And that was a good opportunity. It was like I say before, like Janice Saxon and Fred Saxon Peck, uh had sent me the headline that, that started this whole chain reaction what we're looking at tonight. If it wasn't for that one email, I'm not saying everybody starts sending me emails. <laughs> I'm not saying don't. At hotmail, Dana Durr for the hotmail.com. I'm just saying, don't expect that kind of reaction. It just happened to get me on the hunt that it was a good time, a good point. It was succinct that I needed something to break my mind, and I seized up on it and snatched all the stuff we're looking at tonight. So, investigation on tritium breeding capacity, solid liquid breeders, and a fusion driven hybrid reactor. I just wanted to touch on that for a few minutes before we call it a night. Tritium, tritium monitoring with a with chambers, how they look for tritium, atomic effects in tritium, better decay, is well understood. Tritium is not a game anymore. And so it ended on that, interaction of tritium atoms with solid composite amino acids on their absorbed um, layers. So how... <laughs> uh, and I, I'm not going to try to reply. Uh, but anyway, we'll say goodnight to everybody. I'll just remind you that Health Canada has pulled that one from their website. I'll give you another look at it before we call it a night. We showed you the video at the beginning of the show, and that that help explains to you. Let me get rid of that so you can see everything. And we'll come on and say good night to everybody at the same time. But once again, that that graph is now missing from Health Canada's web page. And it's their old web page that I always use to get that would come up with that same um, that that one there would normally come up when I clicked on the link. Instead, this one now comes up, and now that that one there we don't see we don't see that show up anymore. And so they got that somewhere else on their site. I'm sure it's going to be really harder to find. It's probably not going to be in any context like you see in there now, and you won't be able to work your mind around at the same principle as this is so easy to explain to people that way so I'm gonna hang on to that one <laughs> like I'm gonna hang on to all my friends yeah we got out there that has got us to this point and that without you I don't exist and without your support I can't do the things I want to do yeah yeah it was a good one Jen we got lucky that's why you know like it's my first four days off where I just do whatever I wanted and so I chose to to finish off that folder I, that'll never get done, but to, to put the story out there that I wanted to tell so, you know, six, seven weeks ago, and that if I didn't get arrested, I would have told much better. Hugs for everybody. Elaine. Hyper. Yeah, thank you, folks. Everybody that dropped, boy, thank you. I know you don't have much warning lately. We'll get back on the schedule. Nash. Nep Killer. Jen. Aquarius. Mickey. Shani Ken. Gabriel. Strontium Mike. Gil, I'm just making sure I get everybody. Smart, Smartin38, you're welcome, everyone. And thank you. Um, that's what makes these streams good, I think, is where we're live. Alex, have a good night. James and Bill in Australia, good night. And everybody out there that I don't talk to, I don't know exists, I don't, you know, that I don't, that don't comment, that don't, reach out at any point but are paying attention are learning are using the knowledge to make their lives 
a bit better or to prepare for the future are able to use it to to benefit themselves and benefit their environment and benefit the world by proxy when you do that. You benefit everybody every time you just take that little bit of data. And so this is about stopping the cover up, stopping the lies, stopping the misrepresentations and stopping for a second and looking at the data and saying, okay, well they're actually lawyers. They're actually just terrible lawyers. They have they have access to it. I don't. You don't. Right? Because they can pay the bills, see? I can't justify paying for it. But because I can I got so much of it. But when I was going through it, the, like, I know yesterday, there was two points yesterday where I went back and I looked at the study and I was like, should I buy it? And I was like, I should buy it. And I was like, no, I better not. I got to get down and get to court. I got to get a hotel. It costs gas. I got to get two Furies. And it's just, got to get someone to take care of Zoe. There's a whole lot going on. I got to try to burglar-proof my house so they don't kick my door in again. And I got to try to hold on to the things I got. And so... I'm, I'm setting myself up, just to end this, is I'm setting myself up to do presentations, to get out there and, and start getting into the battle because I feel that I'm censored on the internet. We know we are because that's in the court disclosures and that they're probably censoring me all, all their ways. That's why we never raised the donations uh, the way I was expecting it and that's why it stopped all of a sudden. And so I'm asking for donations. We still got to raise 5000 for so I can do interviews with Skype. This is professional equipment. It's meant to give you the best experience imaginable and to be seamless. It's meant to be able to, if they lose their stream, their video stream, it'll replace it with a picture and optimize their audio so we won't lose the audio and we got a picture so the stream keeps going. We don't lose the stream. It's, it's, it's pro equipment. It bypasses all the advertisement and everything else. So we are trying to raise money. You can donate at PayPal, Dana Durford, nuclear proctologist.org too uh, is another way of doing it. So hugs for everybody. just want to throw that out there. I'll be continuing to do that as we get back up to speed. And that the live streams will be showing up soon, uh, probably right away. Six days a week, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time. I'm not sure about tomorrow morning. It's been such a struggle to do this the last couple of days and get it ready for the big show. I almost not, never made it out tonight. I had to pass out for a couple of hours because I worked all morning at it and I was exhausted. And so I got it done. I haven't done anything since I stopped this and he sat here ripping through this stuff, trying to organize it. We never got through, we never even got through 30% of what I had for the night show. So, and it's two and a half hours or something gone, boy. Two hours, 12 minutes. That's enough for everybody. Hugs for everybody. Thank you, everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Um, we'll be back to schedules now, and so looking forward to it. I need it just as much as everybody else, I'm sure. Take care, folks.